Now, um, when you reported earnings, you warned of a very difficult second quarter and more layoffs ahead. When are you expecting a recovery? And what does that recovery look like for an ad market that is widely expected to go into a deep recession? Well, I, I think uh, IPG and the rest of our sector and many companies at this point, we really don't, don't have visibility into the rest of the year. My comment was referring to the significant impact, the immediacy that many companies, particularly our clients, as well as other major corporations, took action to protect their uh, P&L and their liquidity. And, and the biggest hit probably will be in the second quarter. Um, we, we're basically... Uh, looking at the second quarter as a, a sign of what's going to come for the rest of the year. Uh, but I do believe we're starting to see uh, our working with our clients. You know, our, our, our model is a, is a consulting model, and we work with our clients in terms of how they should spend their money, where should they spend their money, uh, and what the content of, of that spend should be. Uh, and 95% of our people are working from home, but that doesn't stop us from communicating on an everyday basis with our clients to see when they can best uh, reach their uh, their consumers, if you will. You know, this this recession is a, a consumer-driven recession. So it's very important that uh, the overall economic uh, uh, health, if you would, uh, recovers. And, and we're sort of looking at that more towards the end of the year, if not, the, if, if, uh, if not a little bit later. But it depends on the sector and, and where our clients are. Obviously, uh, airlines and travel and uh, 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 cruise lines, uh, we're not going to see a big recovery in those markets. Uh, sports and marketing took a big hit uh, in terms of events as well until we can get back safely uh, to those uh, venues, if you will. So it'll be a mixed bag in terms of how the recovery comes back. Uh, but we do see it coming back. And now more than ever, the advisory model that we have uh, is important because the clients are looking to spend, you know, like many, uh, we're spending a lot of time on uh, TV, uh, but we're also uh, continue to use search and social in a big way. Uh, so all of these well, different speaking venues. Of, uh, speaking of search, uh, Michael, speaking of search, we just heard from Google last night. There were declines there, but they were less steep than anticipated. Do you think we'll hear the same thing from Facebook this afternoon? Yeah, I, I suspect you, you you will. Look, as I said, it's a consumer-driven uh, recession. So, you know, certainly people are looking uh, online uh, for e-commerce, if you will, but they have to have money to spend. So until we see uh, a, a recovery on, uh, in that front, we're going to see cutbacks from uh, advertisers. So I suspect you'll see a pullback just like uh, you know, many marketers are pulling back until they have clarity in terms of where this uh, economy is going to go and how soon people are going to be getting back to work. So as you advise your clients, where are you telling them to put their advertising dollars right now to have the biggest impact? Are you recommending that they shift more into Facebook and Google and away from TV? Which are the sectors here that are gonna suffer the most and potentially those that are gonna benefit as dollars move around through this crisis? Well, even before this crisis, we saw a shift, uh, as you know, from linear TV to digital. Uh, and, and we believe that uh, this, this crisis is accelerating uh, the fact that this is a digital world and will continue to be. So there's no question that working from home, uh, consumer behavior in terms of e-commerce have all going to change dramatically and it's all been accelerated. Our role is to, is to find the consumer, uh, whether they're watching TV, we know they're home, or, or, or on social media or, or search. And that's why our investments in data and analytics uh, are so important and working with our creative teams to get the relevant message out to the right consumer and more importantly to the right audi audiences. We have the capability now using our Axiom uh, and Kineso uh, uh, offerings to really target market that message to the right consumer with a reliable, trustworthy uh, message in terms of uh, uh, connecting to brands. And brands are going to be more important now than ever uh, especially on e-commerce platforms, because if you don't have brand, brand loyalty and brand purpose, uh, why would you buy one brand over another in terms of the e-commerce platforms that we're seeing so much growth? So I think it depends on the sector and it depends on what the clients are looking for. The good news for us 
is that that's our sweet spot in terms of uh, how we advise our clients. Hey, Michael, um, you know, one of the more bearish outlooks about advertising, even though viewership of all kinds of media is up, is that clients didn't want to be placed next to virus related content. Is that is there a stigma to that or not? Oh, there, there's no question that that's an issue. In fact, I, I've spoken directly uh, with the senior executives of, of, of Google, for, for, to be specific, about that concern. Because, you know, uh, clients are looking to us and helping them navigate that. We have, in fact, in our media brands uh, organization, uh, a chief security officer, safety officer, who helps us uh, find where on YouTube, which is what you're referring to, uh, some of these uh, ads uh, can be placed. And it's, it's very important to us uh, that they get that right. We certainly don't want our clients' uh, brands being associated with any of the uh, negativity and, and, and offensive uh, work that is shown on YouTube. And, they, and Google and Facebook have, have commit, committed to, to working very closely with us to make sure that that doesn't happen. And, I, and we see a, a good partnership with both those organizations addressing this issue. But it is a concern.